Hey guys, it's me, JSHDOI, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because this week we are going to be testing out a bunch of new Nogu Slime recipes. Last week's giveaway winners are all up on the screen. I've contacted them all, and my team is going to be sending out their packages soon. But do not worry if you didn't win last week's giveaway because, of course, this week there is also another if giveaway. If you are new to my channel and you don't already know this, every single week I come up with a new slime palette and I give away a bunch of them to you guys. So this is what this week's slime palette looks like. It is called the Pastel Palette. And it has a bunch of super cool pastel themed slimes in it, so I'm super excited to give away a bunch of these to you guys. To win a slime palette in this week's giveaway, all you have to do is just be subscribed to my channel and watch this video. I will be giving you more and more entries for every video you watch on my channel, so the more videos you watch on my channel, the better chance you will be getting to win. The notification squad shoutouts of the day go to Elsa Loves Pups, Charlie Bear, Monica, and also Chloe Quack. All you have to do if you would like a shoutout in my next video is just turn on the notification bell and then comment on my video right after I post it. And without further ado, let's get into these slime recipes. 15 minutes after I posted my last video, you guys were going crazy in my comment section, leaving this comment of how to make slime out of glycerin and hand sanitizer. Literally hundreds of you guys were commenting back to Hazel Palm saying that you guys have also tried this recipe and wanted to see me try it. I would never let you down. We are going to be trying it out right now. The first step is to simply put some hand sanitizer in a container that can go in the fridge. So I did And that. then you're supposed to add whatever food coloring or whatever add-ins you want to add in. And so I use some pens to color these slimes. This is literally a great life hack if you want to color your slime, but you do not have the perfect food coloring to do. It will lighten up over time. So do make the slime a little bit darker than you actually want it. To add the glycerin into my hand sanitizer, I'm not sure if this is going to work because I'm using vegetable glycerin because that is all I could find at my house. You guys also commented that certain shampoos will have an ingredient called glycol or glycerin and it should work, but it is going to be more sticky. It's also pointed out the science of this because hand sanitizer is an alcohol, it will not freeze, but glycerin is a fat, so of course it is going to freeze really easily. The glycerin is going to make the hand sanitizer be a little bit thicker because the hand sanitizer will not freeze, but the glycerin will freeze. So basically you just need to mix it up super well so that it is well combined and the glycerin will freeze the hand sanitizer. So I'm going to go put this in the freezer overnight and we will check on it then. Here was my slime after being in the freezer for a couple of hours, and I see what you guys mean by it formed a slime because it definitely did. It did melt over time, but I was able to put it back in the freezer to let the glycerin freeze again. I'm very glad that you guys discovered this recipe. If you guys want to see me next week test this, but using vegetable oil instead of glycerin, comment down below. But thank you guys so much for pointing this recipe out to me. I had a lot of fun making it. You guys requested a new updated Dawn dish soap slime recipe, so here is a super easy one. What we're needing for this is baking soda, Dawn dish soap, and also some salt. Starting off, add one fourth cup of Dawn dish soap into a airtight container. Then for the first step to activating this, you are just going to add in a small sprinkle of salt. When I say small, just add in a really little pinch. And then after you add it in the salt, you're just going to add in some baking soda. Mix those two starter activators into the Dawn dish soap until it is all well combined and there is no lumps of baking soda. And then add in some more table salt. Once you've done all that, just put some baking soda on top of the Dawn dish soap. This is really what is going to dry out the soap and turn it into slime once we let this sit for a couple days. And leading me to that topic, we are going to be letting this sit for two to three days. I actually ended up letting mine sit for five days so I could have a crystal clear slime. And here is how mine turned out after that. You guys can see the baking soda totally dried out the slime as well as the salt because salt actually dries out liquid. The consistency was great and the slime actually held up for many days after I made it, so it was a great recipe. While I was brainstorming ideas for this video, I came up with the amazing idea to try to make slime inside of a Pantene bottle. So we're gonna be testing it out to see if we can make slime inside of the shampoo bottle. To do this, I'm just putting a funnel into our shampoo bottle so we can mix all of our activators and everything straight into the bottle. And right here, I have my salt, so I'm just gonna be putting it in here. You guys can watch it go in there. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is going straight into the bottle of shampoo. That looks so cool. There's like a little bubble of salt right there. Your things to actually use to mix is actually a knife. So I'm just gonna use the bottom of the knife to just mix this because you guys can see it will fit right into there. So let's just try and mix all of the salt in. Whoa, I already feel it activating. It's already turning into slime.
is totally already turning into an amazing clean because bar. Pantene does not fill up the shampoo bottle all the way full there's this little gap of an air bubble and so I was trying to use the air bubble to mix it because there's a little area at the bottom of the shampoo bottle that was not getting the salt mixed in some reason so I was doing that and it actually did work pretty well so if you are struggling mixing the salt into the shampoo bottle try turning the bottle up and down and it should kind of mix from the air bubble I got it as mixed as I could possibly get it. I feel like the salt will slowly start to sink in when we let it clear up. So I'm not too worried about this bit of shampoo. I'm just gonna pop the lid back on here so that everything will stay in here without evaporating. And we will check on this tomorrow and hopefully if everything goes well, we will have a perfect clear slime that is still inside of the Pantene bottle. One day since I made this slime, I think it's exactly 24 hours because it is 426 and I made this around four o'clock yesterday. So here is our bottle of Pantene that we made the slime in. So I'm super excited to see if this actually turns into slime. So let's check it out. Okay, it looks like the same as it used to, but I'm gonna try squeezing it out of the top of the bottle and we're gonna see if it actually turned into slime, okay? Whoa, oh my gosh. It is slime. Okay, it's a little bit sticky to be honest, but it totally turned into slime. So last night I was scrolling through Amazon when I should have been doing homework and I came across these amazing little tiny Nutellas and I thought they were so adorable. So I really quickly went onto Amazon and I just ordered them and the next day, Amazon sent me all of course I came up with the wonderful idea to fill these with little tiny slimes So we are going to be making no glue Nutella slime So let's get straight into the recipe The first thing you need to do is just put some of your shampoo into your bowl I'm using this Aussie shampoo because a lot of you guys said you guys had it and you wanted to see a slime recipe to use it for and to make it look like Nutella, I'm going to be using some brown paint. You could probably add real Nutella in there to color it, but I decided to just go the less organic way and just use some paint. It took me a little bit of time to achieve my perfect Nutella color, but once you get to that point, it is time to activate the slime, and to do that, you are going to be needing some hairspray. You don't want to add in so much hairspray that it starts to melt your slime, but just add in a good amount, and it's not going to turn into slime instantly because you do need to let the hairspray dry. So once you've added in your hairspray, just let the slime dry for a little bit, and so surprised when you see what the hairspray has turned your shampoo into. As you guys can see, my slime was a little bit sticky because I'm pretty sure I added in way too much hairspray. After mixing the slime for a while and just playing with it with my hands, it ended up being super amazing, so I was so excited. So now I'm very excited because it is time for our tiny little Nutella jars to join us so that we can put our Nutella slime into our Nutella jar. First, I have to clean the Nutella jar out so I can put the slime in it, and by clean it out, I mean just eating all the Nutella out of the jar. And after I was done eating the Nutella, I just rinsed out the container and it came out perfectly. The container is all empty. It is finally time where we can put our slime into the Nutella jar. I let the slime settle into the jar for about 30 minutes so that the air bubbles would kind of clear out of the slime. So I'm going to now play all of the amazing poking clips. So enjoy the ASMR.
In my last couple videos, I've been experimenting with coming up with new ice slime recipes because they're super fun to make, but today I thought we would do a spooky season edition and try making slime with dry ice. I've been really wanting to make a toothpaste ice slime because I feel like we could maybe freeze the toothpaste or something and turn it into slime. Basically, dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, and carbon dioxide does not freeze until it is at negative 78 degrees Celsius, so normal ice is 110 degrees warmer than dry ice, so dry ice is super cold, and basically when you put water on dry ice, it creates a process called sublimation where it skips the stage of turning into a liquid and it turns straight into a gas. Not gonna lie, I kind of feel like some sort of a witch right now with this like concoction in front of me. I thought it would be super interesting if we put the toothpaste straight onto our dry ice to see if it will turn into slime after it freezes. Comment down below if you guys think it's going to turn into slime or if it is not going to. Okay guys, I have let this sit for several hours now so the dry ice is dying down a lot, but I'm going to add some more water onto it so that, oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, you guys can see it. It's literally bubbling up like crazy. Okay, I'm literally a scientist at this point, but now I'm just going to add in some more toothpaste so we can hopefully make a super big batch. I still have no idea if this has actually turned into slime or not, but it should freeze a little bit and I'm having a lot of fun with these bubbles in the meantime. not expecting the dry ice to last for close to 10 hours but i poured out some of the water and i basically revealed our toothpaste slime drum roll please it was a fail but seriously guys if you have any other ice slime recipes that i can use to make toothpaste slime and ice slime all together comment them down below because i still am not giving up on my goal to make toothpaste slime with the ice slime method recipe that we are going to be testing out is lemon slime you guys always request me to test this so we are going to test it right now you are going to be needing some lemon juice. You could definitely use the bottled lemon juice, but I'm just using a regular lemon. Once you have your lemon juice in your bowl, you need to start adding in your hand soap, and you want to make an even ratio from hand soap to lemon juice. The lemon and the hand soap together, and don't worry if it does not feel like slime yet, because we have not gotten to turn this into slime yet. So in a second, I will show you guys how to transform this into amazing clear slime. So weirdly enough, what we are going to be using to transform this into a perfect clear slime is apparently sugar. The recipe says that once we microwave this, which is actually the next step, it is supposed to turn clear and the lemon juice is supposed to take the crystallized sugar and make it soft still and the hand soap is also supposed to help with that. To be honest, I do not know if that's going to happen, but first I'm just adding in some food coloring and I'm also adding in some of these fake lemon slices that I got from one of Karina's kits. Okay guys, it is technically now time to microwave it, and I'm very confused if this is going to turn into slime, but I guess we'll see in a second, so I'm just gonna pop it in there. Hello, okay guys, I just opened up the door, even though there's six seconds left, because I looked over and it was completely, like, puffed up, so I'm gonna put it back in for the last six seconds, and we'll check on it then. I just took the slime out of the microwave, and right now it is, of course, all melted, but you're supposed to put it in a container that has a lid, so I'm just transferring it into this container, and now we are going to go put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Okay, guys, it has been 10 minutes now, and now we get to check out how our slime looks. I will say it is very clear for only clearing up for about 10 minutes. See, already super surprised because it looks like slime, so I'm just going to include this as ASMR, so I'm going to stop talking, and I'll give you my review on how I think it turned out in a second. So honestly, I was super impressed with this slime because originally I was thinking it would be a failed slime recipe. It was pretty sticky because of the sugar and it was pretty cold and it did melt after a little bit. But if you want a slime for about 20 minutes, this will be a really good recipe for you. I saw Andrea X Andrea post on her Instagram story this picture of this giant iceberg slime and it reminded me of like 2017 slime. So after a couple failed recipes, I figured out the perfect way to make a DIY iceberg slime without any glue. So let's get straight into the recipe. Starting off, you want to mix together one fourth cup of shaving cream and about two tablespoons of clear shampoo. I used the coconut water shampoo because I found that it was the only one I could end up getting to work. But if you guys find any other shampoos that work for this, let me know in the comments below. The activator that you will be needing to make this slime is just simply salt, which I know you guys all probably have at home. After you've added in a couple of sprinkles of salt into the slime, it is going to be a perfect fluffy slime, which we will be letting dry so that we will end up with an iceberg slime. 
When you first take your fluffy slime out of your bowl, it is going to be pretty sticky, but try mixing it with your hands and it will start getting less sticky, especially if you add a little bit more salt. One tip I have is do not add too much salt. I know I always say this, but if you add too much salt into your slime, it will actually melt the shampoo and make it more runny than it was before. the fluffy slime back in the bowl so that we can let it sit and turn into an iceberg so we are going to probably need to let this sit for maybe a couple days but we will see i will just keep checking on it and i will update you guys every day when i originally made this slime i was expecting it to take a couple days to turn into an iceberg but you guys can see this was actually only after one day so i'm just going to include this as asmr so i will stop talking now Here was my original trial at making a Nobu iceberg slime. I tried using egg white and shampoo, and this is what that looks like. So I just wanted to include it so you guys can see what my failed draft looked like. This week, I experimented with some new water slime recipes because I really wanted to make some clear water slimes. And let me say, some of them did not work so well, but this one actually, on the other hand, worked super well. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys right now. Starting off, add one cup of shampoo into your container. I'm using this Pantene shampoo because it makes the least sticky water slime. I'm going to be making some clear slime cubes, and I haven't done these for a while, but I have done this in two videos before. Thought it'd be fun to bring it back. Today, I'm going to be making my clear slime cubes pink and blue because I thought that would look super cool, but you can make your slime whatever color you want. I just finished coloring this slime, and if you guys are at this point too, it is time to add the activator, which is going to be baking soda. Basically, baking soda can dry out any sort of liquid, so it is super beneficial when we are using this to activate our shampoo, because the shampoo is also going to naturally dry out by itself. If you have a super thick shampoo already and you want to make your slime a little bit more clicky, you can add a little bit of water, but this is optional because if you do add water into a thinner shampoo, it is going to make it super sticky and not very holdable, so check your shampoo before you do this. You guys will also start to see your slime activate at this point too. If you don't mind getting your hands a little bit sticky, I would definitely recommend putting your hands in there so that you can mix your slime up. And if it is super sticky, just add in some more baking soda. And if that's not doing the trick, you can also add in some salt, which will always help. I'm going to be letting my slime clear up over time, so because I don't want it to melt, I'm going to be putting some more baking soda on the top of this. This will also help make it more holdable once we are done. Okay guys, I'm going to give these a couple days to clear up, and I'm actually going to be putting them in my backyard because I feel like the sun always makes air bubbles rise faster. So we will see how these slimes turn out in two to three days. As you guys know, at the end of every video, I always mix something interesting into slime, so I thought it would be festive to mix a pumpkin bath bomb into slime, so we will see what happens. I really have no idea if it's going to fizz up like a normal bath bomb, but we will see. I'm just going to mix this into our water slime from earlier.
So it's really weird because it's kind of making the slime melt again and turn back into shampoo. But at the same time, I feel like the baking soda inside of the bath bomb is actually reactivating the slime, even though I did not originally use baking soda to activate the shampoo. So it's a very weird phenomenon where it feels like it's melting and also reactivating all at once. As I was mentioning before, the baking soda did reactivate the shampoo, and I actually was surprised because I ended up with this amazing slime that smelled super good because it smelled like the pumpkin bath bomb. So overall, I'm actually super happy with this mix. For watching this video i had a great time making slime with you guys and if you are new to my channel and enjoyed today's video you should definitely subscribe for new uploads i'm uploading all the time and if you are wanting to enter in the slime package giveaway check out the description because i have all the rules in there just make sure to follow all of them and i will enter you to win one i love you guys so much and i will go see you on one of the videos on the screen so go click on one so we can hang out over there bye guys